So there we are given simplify. This is mathematics for grade eight, and you are required to simplify these exponents. As long you work with exponents, as I always say, you are supposed to know your laws of exponents. So that is the major part of your exponents. So we are given the first part, which is 4.21. That is uh, x, y to the exponent of two, to the exponent of a three, everything over x to the exponent of three, y to the exponent of a four, like this. So remember I say that if the exponent is always invisible, like the number is invisible on the exponent, whether it's on a letter like this, there is a one which is always there. Whether it's a multiplication, whether it's on the exponent. So meaning to say on this x, there is an exponent of a one which is not indicated. That's an invisible number, which is one. So also remember that I say that if you are given this condition x times a t, or maybe let us just use a y so that you do not have a confusion there, x times y to the exponent of n, it follows that everything will be raised to the exponent of n. So it will be x to the exponent of n times y to the exponent of n. Meaning to say, we can just write this as x to the exponent of n, y to the exponent of n. So what am I trying to say is that if you are given this, there is an exponent of three, which is going to affect everything inside of the bracket. So this one is going to multiply with this three. Remember also that x to the exponent of a to the exponent of b is the same as x to the exponent of a, b. You multiply these two numbers. So meaning to say you are going to multiply the one and the three. All right, you have to multiply those numbers one times a three. That's x, for x to the exponent of a three, one times three. The same thing on this y, you are going to multiply two times a three. So you multiply the two and the three, that's y to the exponent of two times a three. So two times three, that will give you a six. So this is what you're going to have. And you divide, this is x to the exponent of three, y to the exponent of a four. Yes, we are supposed to use our laws, but in some cases like this, where you see that two terms are the same. This is x to the exponent of three. This is x to the exponent of a three. They are the same. You can cancel out this. Just like two over two, which is a one. That's, that's it. All right. We are now having the part of y which is left. That is y to the exponent of six divided to y to the exponent of f4. This is a division. And whenever you are dividing your exponents, what is going to happen is that you divide as long as the bases are the same and you're dividing, you are going to subtract the exponents. So divide, subtract. So we are going to subtract our exponents. That's y to the exponent of six minus four, which is y to the exponent of a two. That is how we could have simplified this question. So it is all about the laws that you are supposed to apply. That is how to answer these typical questions. 4.22, uh, that's another exponent to simplify. And that is four marks that we are given there. So let us see how we're supposed to simplify this. Minus 12a squared uh, b to the exponent of three plus we are given 8a to the exponent of three, b to the exponent of two plus we are given 6a to the exponent of 2, b to the exponent of f4. And this whole part is being divided to 2, a to the exponent of 2, b to the exponent of 2. You will see that we do not have a law that states about addition of exponents. So meaning to say as addition is concerned, there's nothing that we're going to do. So what can we do now? Because we can't apply any law. There is, there is nothing that is common, like like terms. We do not have like terms. Like terms, we are supposed to have a, if it is a to the exponent of two, b to the exponent of three, like this, maybe it's minus 12, being added. We must have something that is also have a to the exponent of two and also b to the exponent of a three. These are like terms. We can add, subtract, but this is not what we have. This is a to the exponent of three, a to the exponent of two, this is a to the exponent of three. They are not the same. On b, this is b to the exponent of three, b to the exponent of two, b to the exponent of a four. They are not the same. So it means addition is not possible. 
So what can we do? It follows that in this situation, you can divide each and every term on the numerator to what is in the denominator. Each and every term can be separated to what is in the denominator, as long you separate each and every part that you see on the numerator. So what I'm simply trying to say is that we can write this as minus 12, a to the exponent of two, b to the exponent of three, everything over two, a squared, b squared. Plus, we move on to this part, as long as each and every part is being separated to the same denominator that we are given. That is what we are going to do. The same thing with the six. This is six a to the exponent of two, b to the exponent of four, everything over what is in the denominator that is two, a squared, b squared. So this is what you can do, at least. So what does it mean? It means that if I'm given a plus b plus c like this, everything over a certain denominator, which is n, it is going to be a over n plus b over n plus c over n, depending with the number of terms that I'm given that are being added or subtracted. Now we can use our laws of exponents because these are now single terms. So let us apply the first part. So we can divide here. There's no need for us to use n. We can just divide 2 into 2. That's a 1. 2 into 12. That's a 6. So meaning to say we have got negative 6. The a squared and the a squared are the same. So this will simply cancel. They are the same. It's just the same thing. You're just saving a, just a squared and a squared. So it will cancel. Meaning so you are left with a b. And this can be simplified. Okay. So we are going to have minus 6. Remember, when you are dividing, you are going to subtract the exponents. So the bases are the same. 3 minus 2. So it was supposed to be b to the exponent of 3 minus 2. That is b to the exponent of 1, which is same as a b. So that's we've got minus 6b. All right. If you do the same thing on this part, you are going to say that you have got a positive that you are supposed to maintain. That's plus. Then we are going to divide where we can. Okay. That is the numbers and the numbers. 2 into 2, that's a 1. 2 into 4, that's a 4. That's 8 divided by 2, that's a 4. You do the same thing. The b squared and the b squared are the same. So this will simply cancel. So on the a, you are dividing the bases, which are the same on the a. These bases are the same. So meaning to say, I'm going to subtract the exponents. That's a to the exponent of 3 minus a 2, which is going to give us a to the exponent of 1, which is same as a. So meaning to say, when this cancels, we're going to remain with a 4a on the top, meaning to say, this is going to give us 4a over 1, which is just 4a, all right? Which was the same thing what happened on b when you applied the law. It's, it's like you're canceling, but you're actually using your law and you're just remaining with a b. So this is the same thing that we are also seeing on the other part. If we are to do this, we are going to divide 2 into 2, that's a 1, into 6, that's a 3. So meaning to say this is going to be a 3. The a squared and the a squared are the same. So this will cancel. Then if you move on to the part of b, we are dividing the bases, which are the same. So what are we going to do? Subtract the exponents, just like what we did on the previous case. So that is, we have got b and b. So this will be to the exponent of 4 minus a 2. That is b to the exponent of a 2. So meaning to say, if you cancel this, that will be b to the exponent of a 2. So we're going to have 3b to the exponent of a 2. And as we can see, we do not have like terms. Minus 6b cannot be added to 3b squared because they have got different exponent. This is 1. This is 2. You can only add if they also have the same exponents. Let's say it was minus 6b squared plus 3b squared. You can subtract, you can add minus 6 plus a 3, that is minus 3b squared. As long these two are the same, addition is possible. But if they are not the same, then it means addition is not possible. So your answer was just going to remain like this. So these are typical questions that you are supposed to expect in your exam till we meet again.